Oh boy, welcome back sports fans. Mike Kretz here alongside Antonio Clark for this, the week four edition of Sticker Day. How you feeling? Four weeks already? Four weeks already. Hard to believe. What's even harder to believe is we're going to hand out some stickers to some great performances by Western Slope athletes. And first up, we're going to talk about the Road Grader Award, one of our favorite awards for sure. And this one is going out to Grand Valley's Emilio Garcia. Gets put in the spin cycle there. Keeps his head up, keeps his eyes downfield, knows where he wants to go. I say keeps his eyes downfield. He's looking the wrong way there, but he knows where he wants to go, and that's the important thing. I think it's a little unpopular, but I personally think this should be the ballerina sticker. Look at the balance. Look at him twisting and twirling and getting out of it. The ballerina, no football player here on the Western Slope wants a sticker of a ballerina. He's getting the run great. <laughs> that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Hey, up next, let's talk the Hog Award. This one's going out to Colson Holenbeek for making room for Blaine Peebles on this run. Uh, it's good stuff right here. Look at him in slow-mo. He's, he's this guard that's pulling. First yeah, off, number, yeah. number nine gets a nice washout block. He gets nine out of there. Number 24 in yeah. black gets nine out of there. But 56, yeah. he's pulling around and he's going to obliterate on this kid. Yeah, he's North Fork is a good team and this is part of the reason why. But yeah, oh my goodness. That's a block. That's a big time block. That's why it's the whole award. Right? It. Yeah, Blake Peoples now, he gets to show off his speed as well. Maybe if I get out of the way. Uh, goes into <laughs> the end zone and, and boy, North Fork looks really, really good. Up next, we're going to do the Hit Stick Award. This one goes out to Central Warriors defensive line. This is a big stop on what, second and goal right here? This is actually Santana Martinez coming in at the linebacker's ah. spot and uh, he meets River. It Rolby. looks better at full speed. There you go. That was second down and goal, third down and goal. Uh, not much better against Grand Junction. And then, well, fourth and goal, you gotta go for it, right? How about those Central Warriors? Central two and two on the season? Two and two Central. Hey, heads up, let's go. All right, hey, you know, last night, was the Emmy Awards. Got to give an actor award. I didn't watch one second of it, but I know we will give out one more <laughs> Emmy Award, and that is going to Trey Caldwell. This play could have started off bad. The high snap gets it down, takes a handoff, right? Where is it now? You got defenders tackling the running back. He's got the ball in his hands. Look at this seal block by number nine, right? You're going to go around the corner, look downfield, and oh, number 18 doing some work downfield too. Yeah, it's a team effort, and rifles, they're looking good again, being led. Yes, Trey Caldwell, kind of the, the, the stud, the big man on campus uh, doing it again as he, uh, well, does it here on this play, but he didn't do it, just do it on that one. Uh, he also was our uh, award winner of the week. Yeah, he had, what, 107 of, uh, what was it, 7 of 10 passing, 114 yards. How about 121 yards on the ground? That's what, it's called being a dual threat. Being a dual threat, Trey Caldwell knows all about it. Now you do too, because that has been the week four edition of Sticker Day. Antonio, this has been a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I can't wait for next Monday. Week five edition. Hey, that's all the time we have for sports. For Antonio Clark, I'm Mike Kretz. We'll see you then.